So if we look at the CFA exam also, it's not that 40,000 people are reading the level one. So if we look at this comparison, uh, then CFA is at around 6% success rate versus the CAT exams, which are around 4% success rate. CFA is a self-search, you know, career progression, right? You have to look out for your job, you have to do internships, you have to progress through the ranks. Uh, whereas in MBA program, then you're looking at a college placement. So hence the quality of an college will be very, very important, right? And salary command, usually a CFA uh, you know, candidate who has done the CFA program can start commanding salaries once he has appeared or got his charter and in total along with the charter has somewhere around five to six years of core relevant experience, not just any experience, but core relevant experience, right? Let's say if 100 people actually start the program, right? 25 to 30 percent people actually complete the level one program. So that means that we are actually left out with around 30 candidates uh, at level one. Then we are looking at around 12 candidates who actually are able to clear the level two exam. So from 100, we have already reached 12. And then finally, the number of people who are actually clearing the level three uh, is around six. So then we are looking at six people from start till the end actually becoming a charter.